Hey guys, Vex Viewer here. We received an update on the Justice League Ruby crossover movie by way of The Hollywood Reporter. You know, the movie you guys are all dying to see. I talked about how this film was delaying the release of Ruby Volume 9 back in July. Make sure to go check that out. So The Hollywood Reporter got the exclusive on this and we have our first look. Nothing really to get excited about. Based on this image, it doesn't seem like they're going all out for this film. If you told me this was a fan made image, I would believe you. So what does this article have to say? It reads, the Justice League and Ruby are teaming up with the DC heroes and Rooster Teeth characters joining forces for an animated movie. Justice League Ruby, Superheroes and Huntsmen Part 1. Wait a minute, I forgot this was a two-parter. Apparently part two has already been animated, which is why so many animators contracts aren't being renewed because there's nothing for them to do over there. Anyway, part one arrives on digital, 4K and Blu-ray in the spring. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Cyborg, Green Lantern and Vixen are transported to the strange world of Remnant and find themselves turned into teenagers. <laughs> That's so weird. They should have just used Teen Titans. I get it, I get it, the Justice League IP is way stronger, but it just would have made more sense. Okay, now this is important. It says that they were transported to the world of Remnant. They're not actually following the comic book, guys. In the comic book, Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne were teenagers born on Remnant. They weren't transported from the DC Universe. Based on what I'm reading here, it seems like they're doing more of a multiverse story. The DC characters will travel to the Ruby universe somehow. Meanwhile, Remnant heroes, Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang must combine forces with the Justice League to uncover why their planet has been mysteriously altered before a superpowered Grimm destroys everything. I figured they'd be fighting some Grimm, so that's not surprising. So this appears to be the direction they're heading. They released the voice cast for this film. Chandler Riggs, for example, will be playing Clark Kent. You may know him as Carl Grimes from The Walking Dead. This film was written by Megan Fitzmartin with Ruby's Carrie Shawcross directing. I'm not familiar with Megan's work. She may be a good writer for all I know. She currently writes for DC Comics. She's best known for her role as executive assistant to the showrunner on the show Supernatural, then becoming a staff writer herself. She also wrote for the animated DC Superhero Girl show. I've heard some not so good things about the comic book she's written, so uh, yeah, don't know what to tell you there. Megan and Carrie both had something to say on Twitter. Carrie's little statement was more noteworthy. He tweeted, I know it might feel random, but this has been really fun to work on. Excited to share more. <laughs> well, at least he's aware. Yeah, it's random as hell. Okay guys, here are my thoughts on all this, okay? I really wish I knew the real reason why this was happening. Whose idea was this initially? Did DC push for this? And if so, why? I said it before and I'll say it again. Nobody asked for this film. David Zasloff is out here cutting costs left and right, but he's gonna let this skate by? I mean, he said they were gonna focus on quality and protect the DC brand. I don't know what could hurt the DC brand more than a Ruby project. Is this thing gonna make any money? I mean, seriously. Guys, there's a chance this could do really poorly, and that could put Ruby and Rooster Teeth as a whole on Zasloff's radar. I hope the budget for this film was peanuts. Honestly, it won't be long before RT animation gets completely folded into Warner Brothers animation, if not axed altogether. If, and I mean if, Ruby Volume 10 is greenlit, it might be a Warner Brothers studio project. Do not be surprised. We may very well be heading towards that. And these are the first steps. What are your thoughts, guys? Are you excited about this film? Are you worried? Do you even care? What do you think will happen with Ruby Volume 10? Let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later.